You would never know that the plants Triceratops ate every day contained deadly poison. If a young Triceratops eats too much, it could die on the spot. However, the Triceratops has a unique way of detoxifying. As one of the largest dinosaurs in North America, it could grow up to over 8 meters long. Moreover, the Triceratops is equipped with hard, protective bony plates on its head and sharp, large horns. However, the plants they eat daily also have their own defense mechanisms. To prevent themselves from being eaten, these plants have evolved various toxins. Some can cause uncontrollable vomiting, while others can slowly kill their consumer. The massive adult Triceratops can tolerate eating large amounts of these plants, but for their small, young offspring, this is not the case. At this stage, they only weigh a few dozen kilograms, and after eating toxic plants, they suffer intensely. However, the Triceratops doesn't panic. For generations, they have lived in this environment and have long developed a remedy. So, after every meal, the Triceratops herd will skillfully head to a particular cave. The young ones, on their first visit, are urged by their mothers to hurry along. They must navigate a narrow passage to find the antidote. As they go deeper, the sunlight can no longer reach them, and the entire herd is enveloped in darkness. The passage becomes even narrower, and only those Triceratops who are very familiar with the area can lead the way, allowing the group to move slowly through the cave. At this moment, it is the most dangerous time for the young ones. The toxins in their bodies have left them delirious, running blindly in the dark. They're at risk of being stepped on or losing their way at a turn. At this point, the young Triceratops faces many small openings in the cave. But if it chooses the wrong path, it could be trapped forever. The rest of the herd has not noticed that a young one is missing. Meanwhile, they have reached their final destination. There are no medicinal plants here, and the antidote they need is this special type of soil. This soil is known as licking clay. Many animals use it to detoxify. At this moment, the mother Triceratops realizes her young one is missing. She quickly begins to roar through the cave. Fortunately, the young one is not strayed far. Following the sound of its mother's voice, it successfully finds its way back to the herd. Now, as long as it swallows the clay, the toxins will no longer affect it. From then on, it can safely eat the plants again.